Good day everyone, I'm Phil and here we are in front of a modern house for sale here in Taytay Rizal. Once again, this is your dream home. Alright, so let us start our house word, but once again, please click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and so follow us on our social media accounts. All the links will be listed in the description box below. Alright, so right now, nasa labas tayo ng bahay to show you the perimeter, no, and that this house is placed on a corner lot unit. And so before we officially start our house tour, so let me first give you a brief description about this house. So this house is placed on a corner lot unit. That's why the uh, ventilation and the natural light is much more improved, no, when we when uh, when we enter inside of your house. And also, no, you have your 30 meter frontage, and so this house has. A very spacious lot area and a very spacious floor area. And to show you, you know how much maximize the space that this house offers, you no, know, let's enter using your uh, pedestrian gate. Right. So as we walk over towards your pedestrian gate, you now this is your target that will lead you over to your um, carport in which you can perfectly sit uh, seven cars. Yeah. Alright, so you have here a lot of greeneries you no know, and plant box. Alright, so now let's enter using your pedestrian gate. And upon entering, no, this is what will welcome us when we enter using your pedestrian gate. So this is your gazebo. So your gazebo has an, has, has an allotted space of 40 square meters. And so as uh, we can see the setup that we have in here, you have your sofa, no, uh, chairs, and also tables. So you can really enjoy your view of your pool area and the breeze of fresh air here in your subdivision. And, and this is your um, one car park area. No, so uh, as you have seen earlier, no, before we enter using your pedestrian gate, you have your a car gate, and so it is placed in here. By the way, so this is your car gate, which will lead you over to your unallotted space for car garage, which uh, you can park one car. And you also have your outdoor lights, which lights this place up. And just a few steps. No, this is your pool area. So in your pool area, you have your unallotted space of 80 square meters. And so you have also your kiddie pool and your um, adult pool and an installed water feature, which is falls. And so before we tour the house, which is uh, my first time touring this kind of house because it is divided into two parts. So para hindi tayo confused kung sa parte ba tayo ng bahay, let me first give you a brief description of what this house is like. So you have your two entries. Now you can enter using your main door which will lead you over to the living, dining, kitchen area which is commonly natin ginagawa. But you can also enter using your sliding door. Yan, just um, a few steps, no? Galing sa pool area. So that is your sliding door. And yung space doon or yung room doon designed to be your reception area or event area. So whenever you're doing some pool activities, no, you can utilize that space as uh, you can uh, hang with your friends or eat foods yeah, and so this that area can also be your theater area so it's up to you how will you utilize this space all right so just a few steps this will lead you to the shower area so this is your shower area you have your two showers over here and also drainage all right and this door this is where you can see your water system for your pool area all right and and a lot of space for your shower and or toilet and bathroom. Yeah. All right. So this is what I'm telling you earlier. So this is your sliding door, no, that will lead you over to the event area or reception area. All right. So let's first um, see what it's like on your uh, reception area. So whenever you're doing some pool activities, no. So this is where you can set up. A lot of chairs, a lot of tables. You also have here an installed um, split type aircon in your event area. And also, sockets for additional appliances. So, uh, as I have told earlier, this is very spacious, no, rich in space. That's why you can set this place as a um, theater area also. No, so it's perfect for any kind of activities. Right, so, just like what you're seeing, you have your two, two stairs, 
No, this one will lead you over to the balcony. No, along with um, other bedrooms, and this one will lead you over to the master's bedroom. No, in which um, we will going to be seeing once we enter using your main door. All right. So now let's tour first this stair that will lead you over to the balcony and two bedrooms. And so you have here a spiral-like kind of um, stair over here which is an access towards to the balcony. But before we enter, or before we use that, no, this is the bedroom, or let's call this as the first bedroom for this house. So you have here a very a spacious bedroom, so you can perfectly set up your king or queen size type of bed. You have here a lot of Sarah's traditional appliances, so this is where you can set up your bed. You can also add your um, headboard over here, and. You also have your cabinets. And so you also have your cabinets for your storage. And right. And also you have here windows, which is a view of your pool area. And it feels like this house is a combination of a comforting house and also a resort. No? So you have here the features of a resort and also the features of a comforting home. And by the way, you have your ceiling, cove ceiling design, and your split type aircon. And, and also a lot of cabinets here in this area. Alright. And this will lead you to the first toilet and bath. Or this is the first toilet and bath when we enter this house. You have your floating vanity design, basin type sink, your faucet, shower space, your toilet, and your tiles, which is floor to ceiling right so for now we're going to uh, go down na. and but remember this spiral like stairs this is an access towards the balcony and mama ipapakita ko siya once we are in the balcony all right so all right so now we are here back again on the reception area so now let's tour the outer area of your house and enter using your main door so once again let me first give you a time or a moment to appreciate your pool era and your gazebo. And so once again, it is it feels like you are in a resort. No, you have here every bedroom gives you a different view. No, which is an access towards this pool area. And and you also have your toilet and bath. Another toilet and bath here on the ground floor. All right, so now let's go over here, and this is your lanai. So this can be your lanai. No, you can add a lot of chairs, a lot of tables. You have your polycarbonated roofing, metal beams, and also sliding doors, which will lead you over to the living area. Yeah. And this is what I'm telling you earlier. This is your, um, I think, six car port area or six car garage. No, you can perfectly set up six cars over here. So you have your a lot of greeneries, no, and also a faucet and a hose, no, for cleaning activities sa inyong um, porch. Yeah. So this is your covered porch area. But we before we go into the details of this part, let's go tour this side. All right. So uh, over here, you have here a lot of space, no. So you can do a lot of activities. This can be your storage area. No, so it's up to you and you also have your sliding door which will lead you over to the um, uh, living area and a lot of greeneries no, over here. And so now let's go over to the covered porch area. Alright, so now we're here back again on the covered porch area. So you have here uh, the Luang Haligi, no, which is um, tiles finish but it gives off a wood element design. And then also light sconces that's light, that lights this um, area. Kapag ka madilim. And this, your, this is your uh, main door no, with metal handrails and also your lock. So once again, welcome to your dream home. Alright, so this is your living area. So upon entering, you will be welcomed by your double height ceiling over here. And so you have your gorgeous hanging lights and also your wall-mounted aircon. And so this is uh, your living area. So also over here. So you have here your um, comforting um, sofa. No, you have your cove ceiling design along with your gorgeous hanging lights. And this can be your dining area. So in dining area, you can set this place, uh, you can set up a 
a six seaters dining table and just a few steps this will be your kitchen area all right so this is your kitchen area you have your countertop and your double sink with your faucet and also a lot of cabinets for additional space yeah and also this is your range hood your cooktop yeah so you have your very um uh, functional uh, kitchen area and this is your laundry area so your laundry area you have your non-split tiles or this uh, this area can also be your dirty kitchen auxiliary kitchen you also have your sink your faucet and a lot of cabinets for additional space you have your drainage and also faucet for laundry purposes and and just a few steps this is the maid's room so in the maid's room you have here your sockets traditional appliances you can set up a um, um, single type bed or a bunker bed over here no and this door will lead you over to the pool area which we have seen earlier all right so now we are done over here so uh, let's go back in here. So this is your sliding door, which will lead you over to the pool area and in your lanai and in your stairs. So, so this is also a part of your living area. So very spacious. You can add a lot of shelves, you know, a lot of tables. And this is the second bedroom for, uh, sorry, this is the guest room. So this is your guest room. All right. So now let's proceed to another toilet and bath here on the ground floor. So you have your shower space, your sink, and your toilet. Alright, so now we are done touring the ground floor. Let's proceed to the second floor using your main stairs. So you have your tiles finish which gives off a wood element design and also your metal handrails. Alright, so now we're here on the second floor and in your second floor you have This door, which we need you over to a lot of bedrooms, and also a master's bedroom. So, here on this area, we have here a uh, one toilet and bath you know, uh, for this bedroom, which you will be seeing right here. But before we go that, here before we go over there, this is your space. So, you have uh, this in your family area or your study area. You know? So, you have your lot of uh, spacious. Um, space over here, you have your home ceiling design along with your lights, uh, pin lights, and you also have your door in which you can utilize as a storage area or another toilet uh, area. Yeah. Or that can be your mother room. Right, so now we us see that this is the home of the bath for the second floor. So you have here both your vanity. Floating vanity design, your toilet, and your shower space. And also, you have your tiles which is for the city. Alright, so this is the this is your second bedroom. You have your windows and also a spacious area where you can um, set up a single tenant. Alright, so this door is another door for the bedroom. So you have your spacious bedroom, you have your cabinets. And also your desk over here, so you can use a mirror, and and also your home ceiling design with your pin lights and your street light aircon. And this is your sliding door, which will lead you over to the first balcony. And this is the balcony for the second floor. You have your uh, view of your pool area and your view. Right? And this door will lead you over to the stairs. Alright, so these stairs will lead you over to the reception area. Okay, so, I'm going to show you a bit when we tour the um, reception area. Alright, now let's go to the master's bedroom. And as you can see, underneath the first stairs over here, we have another, storage. Uh, another space for your storage. And to fully maximize the space, the floor area, and the lab area. This house. Alright, so this is your second floor. So this is your commanding area. Now you have your view of your of the ground floor. Right, and um, this is your hanging lights. You know, the ground floor to be. This is the mother's bedroom. So your mother's bedroom. So the, um, this is where you can set up your pin size type bed. You have your oak ceiling design, your street light aircon, your window, which will give you a view of your swimming pool. 
or and the gazebo, and also a uh, lot of peanuts, right? And this is your walking closet. You have your cabinets, additional space, additional storage, and the toilet and bath. So you have your cooking bath in the side, your toilet, your mirror, and your shower area. Now you're going to go to the second floor, it's just the third floor you can see your base there so far. Alright, so now we're going to the third floor of the, uh, for this house. So we have the same kind of clothing over here. And you have your space which can be utilized for storage area. Okay. So this, is, this can be your storage area or your gym area. So you have your open area no, to allow natural light and ventilation to flow. Uh, in this um, room or in the area. Alright, so this can be your family area. You know, so second family. family area for the second time. Yeah, so this is your family area, very spacious. You can have a lot of chairs, a lot of tables to uh, utilize the space. It's up to you. You use a few steps you know, to uh, once again your sink, your faucet, and a lot of family areas for uh, additional space. And also, you have to clear your toilet and bath for the third floor. You have your tiles, which is for the ceiling, your shower space, your sink, and your toilet. Alright? So before we go over to the balcony, let's first floor this part, and this is another room for this house. And this is, right, so this is the first bedroom for the third floor of this house. Alright, so you have your other space, your split light air cone, and your window. Alright, so now we're done with this area. So now let's uh Is the spiral stairs na itatin na yun the second level nung mukhang tayo dun sa uh, reception area ang hina and you also have your another bedroom for the third floor so you have your sliding door your spin light air room your cabinet and so you have here a lot uh, a lot of feature to allow natural light and ventilation to flow inside this room and All right, so for additional details of this house, you have your lot area of 107 square meters, offer area of 670 square meters. So overall, you have your eight bedrooms, seven toilet and bath, no, and also you have your seven uh, air cons, no, that they installed, no, all throughout of your house. And also, you have your seven carport and your pool area, which has a size of 80 square meters, and your gazebo, which has a size of 40 square meters. And, and this house is a total price of 65 million. And if you think this house is for you, and you contact us with this number to be shown below. Alright, so once again, I'm Phil and this is Review.